Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video, I'm shooting an old wooden barn with my high resolution digital camera and also on medium format black and white film. I've been driving past this old barn for 10 or 11 years, and one morning I finally decided to walk the mile or so to the barn to get some pictures of it, and I had to walk because there's no place to park along this busy road. Before you see the digital versus the film comparison, remember I'm not a serious film shooter. My technique is basic at best, far from perfect. I only break out the film cameras once in a while just to have a little fun. So here are the 62 megapixel black and white images that I shot. As you can see, I have several lenses giving me the ability to get up close and the camera's light meter did a great job reading the scene. I also shot a couple of frames of medium format film on this Hasselblad 500cm with a 120 millimeter lens. Here's the retouch film scan. It's approximately 16 inches, almost square, and it's at 300 dpi. Here's the raw scan of the film image I made on the Raleigh Superpan 200 film. I used my phone as a light meter and as you can see I severely underexposed the shot but I, I like the mood so I decided to retouch it on the computer and see how it turns out. I tend to love dark moody landscapes and this image was really kind of a great encapsulation of the mood on this day which was gray and gloomy so I thought it was appropriate. As you can see the Raleigh gives you blacks that are dark gray Details are softer and much less crisp than the digitals, and I, I may have missed focus a little bit too, to be honest. But that's partly what makes film beautiful in a different way than digital. As we scroll around, you may also see some of dust spots and scratches I'll need to retouch. There's one. And there's some more. And I think this is a scratch or something. first thing I'm going to do is open this in Adobe Camera Raw to adjust the tones and don't click out. I'm not going through this in detail. I'm just going to hit the highlights. I find those software tutorial videos excruciating and I wouldn't do that to you. Anyways, I'm adjusting the tones and the clarity, just judging it visually. Next, I'll try the new geometry settings to straighten the verticals a bit. Those uh, leaning lines on the left side of the frame that you can see there. And bingo, works like magic most of the time. Next, I'll do some good old fashioned dodging of the highlights and the midtones. And then a final adjustment of tones. I could have opened those midtones up a lot more, but that makes it noisy and I want to keep this one dark and moody anyways. The last thing I'll do is meticulously retouch the mini dust spots. And again, one final look at the retouched film scan, which honestly will probably never get used for anything and the digital image, which is already active and for sale on my website right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.